gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, I gotta keep winning, winning, winning. Gotta keep winning. Yo, YouTube, we made it, baby. We're gonna carve up today. We're gonna do a front load. I've been researching it, you know. I told you guys previously that this is what I wanted to try for uh, my peak week. So right now, we're three weeks out, so I'm just practicing the peak week. It's just trying to see uh, what it's gonna do to my body, certain carbs and things like that. I do recommend, if you do not have a coach, that you practice your peak week, just so you can get it right, you know, so. Pretty much, we're gonna carb up. I'll probably take it to about four to 500 carbs today. I will most likely spill over tomorrow, but hey, tomorrow, then we'll cut down the carbs just a bit, maybe to around 250 to 300. And then same thing on Wednesday. And then I'll probably uh, go zero to no carb on Thursday and Friday. And just, I mean, it's all, it's all based off my body. So I'll be able to look at my body and tell what I need versus wait until two days out and not really able to do anything, you know? So that's why I recommend a front load. You won't find too much information on it. That's because a lot of people just stick to the, the normal back loading where they carb up about two days out from the show. But I'm not doing that. Uh, right now, I just finished up my 70 minutes of cardio, fasted. I'm about to hit some rear delts real quick. Just get a little pump in the rear delts. Throw some carbs back there. That's where the carbs gonna go. When the carbs get them the real delts, get them right. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna head to the to the house for the first meal. Take you guys with me, of course. I'm also probably gonna run you guys down with the uh, macronutrient breakdown of all my meals. So stay tuned for that. All right, you two. Meal number one was a beast, man. I love oats. I miss them so much. I went ahead and did a full cup of oats. That's 80 grams of quick oats. And what I do, I simply just weigh it out, 80 grams, and I throw it. I throw a lot of water in there, just just enough to get a, a decent stir. Uh, it's all based off of preference. The more water you put, the more liquidy your oats will be. So I put just enough for my oats to be a little thick. You know, I don't like them too creamy or anything like that. And then I got the sugar-free syrup, which I believe, if I recall, it has five grams per serving. And each serving size is 30 milliliters. So I went ahead and did two servings of that, giving me 10 carbs. And I throw cinnamon and some ground cinnamon and some pumpkin spice on there as well. So pumpkin pie spice, I believe. And it's just super good, man. I miss oats and the syrup and the cinnamon and the spice just makes it 10 times better. So I went ahead and got that down. And that's pretty much the first meal. So what I'm gonna do this time around is I'm going to basically be, be subtracting all of my fiber from my total carbohydrates. So as you see, the total carbs for this meal was 68. And the fiber that I've had so far is eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. So that's giving us a final of 60 grams of carbs, right? Because pretty much the fiber and your sugar alcohols that are in the food do not have an effect on your, I guess your blood levels. So therefore, if you're talking about total carbs, you're only talking about the carbs minus those two specific facts which is why you'll see like quest bars will say something like i think sometimes two to five grams of net carbs and that's because they pretty much subtract all of that fiber so that's what i'm gonna be doing uh, throughout this uh, carb load so that was the first meal so for lunch and for basically meal number two and three pretty much the same thing uh, 150 grams of brown rice 150 grams of cucumbers and only four ounces of shredded chicken so those two meals are the exact same that's what i'll be having while i'm at work uh, maybe i have one later at home depending on how things go at work i gotta leave a little earlier today my son has a dentist appointment so uh, and i also have a banana and some rice cakes 
So I got the caramel corn rice cakes today. I got about 190 grams of uh, unpeeled raw banana right there. So getting those carbs in as well. I love carbs, man. Carbs are great, especially after being depleted. I wasn't really too depleted because I only went no carb for Sunday. So yesterday was pretty much a zero to no carb. I got about 20 to 30 grams of carbs in. Uh, you see the physique. This is how I'm looking pretty much before all my meals. This is how I look first thing in the morning after I take a piss. And then I also give you a view of how I looked post fasted cardio. So uh, yeah, I think it's about time to get some carbs in. This carb load I feel is gonna do us some, some real good, man. It's gonna do us real, real good. So I'm excited to see the outcome. And we won't get the final, final outcome until the end of the week. So today is Monday. On Friday, we'll see how we look and we'll see if we're looking diced up, man. So stay tuned for the next meals. Check this out. Post-workout. I melted some peanut butter. Oh, yes. Look at that. We got 32 grams of peanut butter. Got four rice cakes. But you know I'm gonna have to scrape all this peanut butter out of here for sure. Gotta get it all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We love carbs. Yep, had to melt that thing on there. Yes, sir. Peanut butter is probably one of the best things ever made, baby. Peanut butter and pizza. Two of my favorites. Hands down. There's no way around. high in sodium but it is super low in fat pretty much zero fat it's pretty similar to cod you know and when you cook it the texture and the consistency is just like cod it's pretty damn good actually and it's at a good price I got about 2.1 pounds possibly I can't even remember what size the bag was but I just threw it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on 425 and it came out on point. Um, like I said, the sodium is pretty high, which is what differentiates it from like tilapia and things like that. And it's definitely not high in fat like salmon. So I would recommend it. it tastes real good. Try it out. You can get it at a good price at Walmart. So that's pretty much my meals right there. I kept pretty much my two large larger meals fairly the same so you see the macros broke down on the screen they're pretty much the same I threw in the sweet potato with the fish and it was like a-okay of course I threw my cinnamon and my pumpkin spice on my sweet potatoes to give it a little extra flavor but no artificial sweeteners I'm not messing around with any stevia anymore I cut that out three weeks out I'm done with it I just don't want it affecting me in any type of way so completely remove that no more of that so then moving on to of course the oats so I'm finishing up the night just like I started the day getting in a cup of oats with two servings of the sugar-free syrup and also throwing that cinnamon and that spice on there as well and it's super good I actually did something different today. I put on the Himalayan pink sea salt. Man, that, it gave the oats so much taste. I definitely am going to do that again tomorrow because, of course, we'll carve it up some more tomorrow. Today, we finished off at about 500, I believe. And tomorrow, we'll probably do 350 to 400. I'm feeling good and looking good. But that's not it. So then I finished off the night with four chocolate rice cakes. 
that's how I ended the night. That's how I ended, up my, ended my carb intake with the four rice cakes, which was still pretty good. And uh, that's just a full day of my first day of carving up. So I haven't really had 500 carbs this whole entire prep. I usually stopped around 400 to 450. So this is actually the first day of having 500 carbs. Everything to me seemed okay. We'll see in the morning how we look. You know, we stepped on the scale today at 185 pounds. Let's see how we feel tomorrow. And of course, I'm going to record it for you guys to show you all the meals. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the morning.